My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to episode number 7 of the USA themed series on Transport Fever 2 using the custom made map, the Northeast Corridor, version 2.0 Very important, version 2.0 Not sure if version 1.0 is on the workshop, but who knows Anyway, so here we are Just at one of our little cargo junctions on our freight line situated somewhere between the cities of Boston and Worcester we've just had one of the tools and planks trains head past on its way to Worcester and we have another one heading towards us right now although well, this could be the train that delivers the tools and I think it is looking at it uh, yes into Rhode Island we can also see in the distance and in the in the near distance as well the flyover for the passenger line for the Massachusetts Metro Link. That's what I called that passenger line. I don't know if I pointed that out in the previous episode when I was recapping, but that's its name, so we all know where we are now. And yeah, then for today, oh look, in fact, there's one of the Metro Link trains going over the bridge right now. Good timing. Uh, for today, I think we're going to finish off our passenger link to New York from Boston. We got as far as New London the last time around. And we have the towns of Bridgeport, uh, New Rochelle, and obviously New York itself fast approaching. Now, I had a little look before I started recording recording and I'm actually leaning towards skipping the town of Bridgeport and not having it on this link line and heading straight to New York and I'll explain why when we get there uh, we'll just wait for this oncoming train to pass this looks like it's one of our long haul fuel freight trains on its way and there we have one of our tool and plank delivery trains as well uh, you may spot right there we have a fourth carriage for the tools on these trains now and the train is still quite capable of pulling the excess weight without too much difficulty so we have increased the tools input into Worcester which is obviously going to help and here we go here comes our double headed mega train although obviously it will get a lot longer as the eons pass us by and we get more powerful trains but for the time being it certainly is our longest train that we have on our network and there she goes now yes so let's get on with it shall we bring up the user interface 18 million in the bank 6 million cash flow one thing I mentioned at the end of episode number six was adding extra trains onto the Boston to New York link I have now done that we now have four trains running on this line just to help with the amount of passengers we have wanting to travel on this line so that's taken care of and if we head on down oh we got past New England it was New Haven New Haven was our last stop so this is where we got to last time Bridgeport it's fairly close by and I'm thinking we just have a tram or metro service between these two because it's quite a short distance and instead our line would head into Stanford that's the town I missed so we'd have a terminal in Stanford and then we'd come on through we'd not stop in Yonkers or New Rochelle instead we'd just head straight into New York which I have named Grand Central Terminal I know it's not in its correct location but uh, scale and all that and as you can see it's quite a large station at the moment we have one two three four five six platforms yep six and it is the full 320 meter maximum default length so we have quite a large station here and basically this one station would serve obviously New York or I suppose Manhattan we'd serve Brooklyn Queens 
arguably Yonkers as well, and maybe even Jersey City, because we could get some good transportation links between these five separate towns. So that's my thinking. At this point, our Massachusetts to Boston line would go, no, sorry, our Massachusetts to New York line would go no further. This would be its end point, but we would have lines coming out this way Perhaps we'd have one going to Edison and Newark, Trenton, so into New Jersey, up into uh, Pennsylvania, Dover, District of Columbia, Maryland, and all the places down here. For now, however, we need to concentrate on getting a train line down here and to Stamford, because as I said, I am going to skip Bridgeport and just have a tram system between New Haven and Bridgeport, I think. Eventually we might have just a small local station with a link from Bridgeport to Stamford, but there would be nothing between Bridgeport and New Haven. So Stamford then is our next port of call. Now it's unfortunately oriented in such a way that placing the train station away from the residential area could be a little bit tricky because our residences occupy this lovely space here where we've got all this open area to put the train station down whereas our commercial and industrial sectors barring a couple down here as we can see are nestled up against the water's edge so this one might even have to compromise on our uh, on our standards or come up with something a little bit clever now I think for now we'll just go for the compromise we could hmm, would it be too much work to have an artificial island do some uh, what's the word it's not dredging what's the opposite of dredging when you actually build a, uh, a bit of land anyway we could build an artificial island here that could work. I don't think it would cost too much money either. Just get rid of some of this water that's in and around Stamford. Looks like it's been flooded. Right, let me have a think here. Could we do that? So if we get the flatten tool and do something like this. Let's give ourselves a a roughly train station sized platform right there that fits in almost perfectly we still need to get a road down here of course but that's fine so if we were to put that there and then our lines would come this way up back onto dry land we'll go past uh, Bridgeport and then in here so we could loop around Bridgeport start heading back down towards the water and then have a nice sweeping bridge into the new artificial land for our train station before we do that let's actually get a road connection down here I think we'll just go for a two-lane street for here might be a bit awkward getting it put in or not like that and then if you come into here I think that will work okay sure anyway let's get the tracks put down I've gone for a two platform station here straight away because as I said I envisage a local service to Bridgeport from Stamford so We've left that there for us immediately. Yes, we could have put another platform in a little bit later, but what the heck, we're a little bit more comfortable now with our cash flow and our overall bank account balance, so we may as well be a little bit more extravagant. Anyway. So you're gonna say there's a collision, are you? Okay, do I need to give myself a little bit more room there? Let's see if we go straight from the station. That's better. Ah, okay. If you maintain that height, that's the problem, is it? 
I'm guessing it's this little bit here what's causing us the issues. Okay then, well what if you just rise up just a little? And in terms of style, we'll not go for green again. Let's go for the default silver on this one, I think. So if you do that, and then head up to there. I mean, you're pretty much level anyway. You're only climbing, what's that, three meters. So that's nothing too concerning. So this will be our approach into Stamford. Looks okay. The question is, where would we have our diamond on the approach? You probably... I guess we do have enough room here, but it would rule out any future length expansion on our passenger train. So when we start getting, in the very distant future, the multiple units and the high-speed trains, they tend to be quite long. And if they're too long for the platform, then we'll start getting loading speed penalties. Plus also, there's a danger that the front or back end could be overhanging one of the switches, and that would cause all sorts of chaos. Well, whatever, we'll do it for now. And this is going to have to be very, very slow as we can see. What, 28 miles per hour we fall down to? which is not really the end of the world because we are either entering or departing a station anyway so the speeds aren't going to be you know top top speed uh, Worcester now accepts food which I do believe is Worcester's fourth cargo type yep machinery and food are the new ones so we'll probably want to look at getting some food into Worcester in the near future perhaps in the next episode We'll go back to some uh, some cargo work in the next episode, I think. Well, we have we have a farm here, but the question is, do we have a food processing plant nearby? And it doesn't look like we do. But we'll uh, we'll tackle that in the next episode, I think, as I said. So where were we? Stamford. So we've got back onto well, pretty much onto dry land here. And we got a collision, have we? Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate. Perhaps if we do a little bit of terrain jiggery pokery here, we can avoid that. Let's try now. Now he's still, he's still doing it. Okay. Hmm. I tell you what. Let's try this instead. Let's get this terrain height and drag it down here, like that. Now will you be happy? You certainly will. How wonderful. So yes, we want to skip Bridgeport as, as, as discussed. And do we want a bridge over this bit of road here? Or, in fact, no, what we'd do is I think we'd send the road a different route. And we'd have our train line just take priority, so to speak. So, is that all connected okay? Yes, it is. So, here comes our train line. We'll leave the road there for now, but eventually it will have a little re rework done. Whether that be a bridge over the top or a tunnel underneath, I'm not yet sure. But when we set up... In fact, would we need to mess about with it? If we're not going to have any metros running down here or any trams running down here doesn't really matter yes it's going to slow down the AI but sod them they can get on the bus and on our trains instead so yes I think we'll leave it unless it looks ridiculous and then if it does look ridiculous we'll tidy it up at some future juncture anyway let's carry on so I've probably turned a little bit too far there so if we go back to say here demolish that I think that leaves us with a better approach angle for New Haven. Yeah, that's better. And we want to kind of be here, I think. So let's bring you up. As you can see, we are double tracking this the whole length now. I think off camera, I will go through and start double tracking the rest of our network where we don't have any passing loops. But for now, the default is going to be building a double track throughout, unless we're building an intentionally small 
little link service. Anyway, pretty much spot on there for our approach. So if we bring you into there, now this road will definitely need reworking because this is the one where we're going to have tram struck metros running down and we don't want to slow down our own fleet. But we'll do that a little bit later when we come to set up the tram which is going to be in the, in the middle distance. Won't be this episode I shouldn't imagine. And there we go. The last thing we need of course, in fact do we, no we don't need a diamond because we're coming into a single platform. Eventually when we have our little local service running we will have a second platform but for now we can forgo the diamond, it's not needed. What is needed however are some signals. So if we have a signal there, that's obviously for the entrance to the diamond and to the station. We'll have one there which clears the diamond for anything waiting behind. And then we'll have a couple of blocking signals just interspersed along this stretch of double track. We don't need too many. I think we'll fit one more in. And then we'll just go for our junction signal. Say there. And a claiming signal just there. That'll work. Okay. Okay, so we could now extend the line all the way to Stamford, however. Oh, it's got pretty it's covering pretty much about 50% of Stamford, so there would be some generation immediately. But we will go ahead and give them a bus link anyway. So bus stop. We want to be just outside the station, turn around and then head back. And in terms of where we want the bus stop for Stamford, well, since we have this part pretty much covered with the station by default why don't we have our bus station our bus stop up in this residential area like that and if we go there to there that should give us a nice loop around there yeah we have to turn around here but without doing another road down here there's no avoiding that so we'll stick with that at least for now terms of coloration down here let's have yellow and let's quickly title this line so this is B for bus and this is Stamford station link yep that's what we're calling them yeah we've got the same color in Stamford and Worcester but they're that far apart it doesn't really matter there shouldn't be any confusion there and we want a depot Let's put it out of town, just all on the outskirts of town, I should say. Uh, we can use the American Stagecoach for this. Uh, let's go for three of those. Crack that maintenance up to maximum, colour them in, and away we go. So now we can look at extending our line down to Stamford. Clicked the wrong thing, that's what I wanted to click. So Massachusetts to New York link, manage the line. So after New Haven, you're now coming to Stamford. And then make sure you stop at New Haven on your way back. And then everything else is set up. So we've got New London, Kingston, Providence, and obviously back to Boston. So that's part one. Now just to connect it into Grand Central over here. So what I'm going to do is to try and avoid a repeat of what we had trying to get the train line out initially on the opposite side. I'm going to give myself a bit of a long spit of land here to work on. And now we should be pretty good. I think we can have a slight curve on this. That shouldn't be a problem. Mm, in fact, would it? No, but we'll stick with it, whatever. And we don't need this to be double tracked because we're only going to have one service running down here. But as I said, the default now is laying double tracks from here on out. So this is a problem you have when you try and set a diamond on a corner. It can be a bit intermittent and a bit hit and miss, but we managed to get it in by tricking it by coming in the opposite direction, so all's good. Now in terms of our approach to Grand Central, I think we'll skirt New Rochelle, 
and then split Yonkers and New Rochelle in half by coming straight down the middle and then into the station. So we want to come. Okay, you're going to do that for me, are you? Right. Okay, let's just do what we had to do previously then. Smooth this off to get rid of any small patches and puddles of water that might be in this little area. And give it another attempt. Nope, you're still doing it. Right. Oh, what's why are you doing it like that, I wonder? Oh, there we go, there we go. Can you go straight? No, you can't. Again, you're only good up by three meters, so it's fine. So we're going to have to do this piece by piece by the looks of it. This would be better if it would snap. Perhaps if I came in a different viewpoint, it would be easier. And indeed, it was. And then you now go straight, although perhaps not quite that far. Go straight to about there. And this is where we'll now drop back down to ground level, back onto terra firma. Like so. Magic. Okay. So we've got a good approach angle here, I should think. Speed might be a little rough, but let's have a see. Don't keep in 75. We're going to have some noise pollution effects here when the trains come past, but so be it. There's not really much we can do to avoid that now. The only thing we could do is purposely come all the way out here and then swing back, but that would just be ridiculous. So instead we'll just swallow the noise pollution effects for New Rochelle and likewise for Yonkers as we uh, push our lines on through. And then we'll have, in fact, hmm, let me think about this for a moment. I might bring all the lines out first. Of, in fact, no, we'll just we'll we'll set them up piecemeal as and when we need to deal with them. So this is going to be double tracked. We're going to need a diamond, so we'll have that just here. If we can get to, yeah, we'll take 40 miles per hour. That's fine. 50 would have been better, but what the heck. And then, where are we headed? Okay, that's curved a little too much there, so I think that's a better angle for us. And you're doing silly buggers again, are you? Right. It might be that's what's causing the collision here. So again, let's get the smooth tool. Get rid of that. And give this another go. Oh no, it's not that. What was it then? I think it's because our bridge is so low to the water level that it just doesn't like it. Now we do have to be mindful here because at some point we might want ships to run down here. Now getting our train line to such an elevation where we can have this waterway stay navigable is not really going to be an option. So essentially if we do want ships to come into New York they're going to have to come up this way. Now they can get all the way around. Ooh, we can't get from here to here, but we could put a, an artificial canal in if we needed to. But that's for the future. We'll worry about that later. It might never even happen. First of all, we need to worry about getting this bloody bridge set up. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Ah, you lost it. There, okay. Let's have the uh, the silver. So we've got our bridge over the river. Oh, of course you'll do silly buggers on this one. There must be. Is there a little bit of water there? Perhaps it's not getting the bridge foot down quite in time. Let's take the size down here. Maybe not that small. Oh, not like that. Then just... Ah, wrong tool. There we go. Okay, this has gone all sorts of wrong here. Oh, that's better. That's tidied it up a little bit. 
Right, now let's give that another go. So, rail line. Now nah, you're doing it again. Okay, that's a little awkward. Right, let's try this whole bridge again. Get that size cranked up a little more. Smooth this off here. And let's see how she goes. Right, let's do it halfway. There we go. Again, it's only going up three meters. There we go. We've got the second track in with little argument this time. And are you going to be happy? So dropping four meters there. Probably smooth that off. There we go. 18 to 16. So just two meters now. Where's our line? So we want to be like that. And then please work. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And you come in there. And you go there. Fantastic. So we have a diamond there. We also have one here. So all we need to do is do our signals. So we want a stopping signal just there. We'll have that to clear the diamond. And then let's just chuck down some blocks. One there. One there, so that people can really listen to the trains while they're sat idling. We'll have one more here. And then the last thing we need is, as usual, one there. And what the heck, let's go one there. Wonderful. What sort of catchment does this have? Absolutely nothing. Now, because this is going to be serving, in theory, one, two, three, four, five different, or technically different cities, we are going to need a little bit more than just a basic bus stop. So, let's see. We want an actual station this time out. And we're going to go as many platforms as we can straight away and we're gonna set it back like that yep and we're gonna immediately expand it as well so passenger that's about even so another three segments of platform per platform like so and in fact I dare say we'll even add extra platforms on either side we may never end up using all of these but they are now there if we need them is that right did we have one two three four five yeah that's fine but just in case we don't want to get ourselves hemmed in by the AI expanding in this area before we've had chance to put down a marker so that's just a bit of future proofing we'll put a couple of these large passenger buildings down on either side like so maybe even a couple of small ones oh that's colliding just on the corners in fact no we don't want those because we might want extra street access up here and in fact I dare say we probably will so let's do that now and this is just so we can have our lines our future lines coming in at different uh, coming in and going out through different street access so we don't get a bottleneck for now we only need the one connection which will be the central one the standard one so let's go for a large street since this is electrified we may as well electrify the road as well and we'll bring it out and then you're gonna come in there and you are gonna come in there these will just connect into the main road 
or perhaps go into different access points but yeah for now that's fine so then now we can start putting some buses down for these districts and what we'll do just to get started is we'll only have one per district so we'll have a bus stop for Brooklyn we'll have one for Queens and we'll have one for New York and that's all we're gonna do for now probably need a waypoint for Queens just to make sure the bus comes in and doesn't trip over itself so if we do that it should come down here and then around in fact we'll put one there as well Brooklyn we should be okay it should come up here and then back down there but we'll see New York it should be okay yeah so let's get these set up so we're going from New York to there color this one yellow and this is New York Central or should we call it the Manhattan Manhattan link Manhattan station link although that kind of implies that the stations in Manhattan which it isn't hmm we'll, we'll, we'll keep it for now and then we want another one to Queens and we want to make sure it's coming the right way wonderful you can be green so this would be Queens station link again kind of implying the station is in Queens which in here more Brooklyn I would say I don't know and then last of all we're going here to here and you're doing exactly what you need to do and you can be blue so nice separate colors and again be Brooklyn station link okay they're all on the individual platforms however it's a bit of a mess so let's go ahead get a couple of waypoints out here and see what we can do about that so where are we so Queens so yeah you, what station what platform you're on that platform so ideally then after Washington Street you want to come in via that waypoint there we go that's better so you're now lo no longer looping around what else do we have we have Manhattan so you're so what we want you to do Manhattan is after New York City Central come out there perfect so you're no longer crossing yourself on platform and then the last one Brooklyn you're coming in onto that platform so you want to leave via that waypoint okay mm. can you not just do that that's a little awkward what the heck it'll do it'll do so there we go that's those tidied up we can now get some buses so let's see here road depot let's put it let's put it here no let's put it there and we need a connection we don't need a tra oh we might need a tram line for this haha -ha, yes we might this will also need to be upgraded but that's fine for now so how many do you want I'm gonna say four per line so we want 12 there we go 12 in total buy them all so the first four In fact, they're all going to have their maintenance set high, so let's do it that way. That'll be quicker. So first four, yellow, you're on that line. The next four are green, and you're on that line. And then the last four are blue, and you're going to Brooklyn. Okay, so now then, the last thing we can do, or the last thing we need to do, is extend the line from Stanford to New York. So let's do that manage the line 
after Stamford, then my friend, you're coming into Grand Central Terminal, and then after Grand Central, make sure you stop back off in Stamford on your return. Perfect. And there we go. All done and dusted. I dare say, let's get two extra trains now on this. There we go. So we now have six trains running the Massachusetts New York link, which has now been completed. As we can see, we're all the way into New York. Our buses are just making their way out to start their routes. Stamford, we've already got a bit of passenger pickup and generation, which is fantastic. And we have a train just arriving in Stamford. Okay, so I think that's where we will end it for today's episode. We have the, uh, the passenger link done all the way into New York. As I said, in the next episode, we'll likely return to some cargo manoeuvres and we'll look at getting some food into Worcester. We'll have to find out where the nearest food production centre is, of course, but that's no problem. For now, what we're going to do, we're going to hop on this train. I've got it paused at the moment so it doesn't eat into the journey too much. And we're going to ride back as far as New Haven, I think. Uh, yeah, in the outro of the last one, I did promise we'd go all the way to... Kingston obviously that didn't happen I apologize for that but uh, yeah we are gonna we'll go to New York and then because we want to have a look at this bit of track that we've just put down as well we'll have one we'll have a ride back to New Haven from New York so Stanford New York Stanford New Haven is the uh, the journey for today's outro so let's get ourselves on board first of all Let's slow, uh, pause the date speed so we don't have any unlocks, which we could do depending on how long it takes the train to make this journey. Hop on board. Let's have a quick look at the train. It looks quite nice. In that perspective, I like that. Enough of that. Let's get into a nice position here and let's start our journey. So thank you very much for watching and your continued and ongoing support it really does mean a lot so i just want to say thank you as per usual you wonderful wonderful people but for now all that remains for me to say is as always ladies and gentlemen take very good care of yourselves it's tata for now Thank you.